Hi there, I'm E.A. Tischler, founder of New Horizons Golf Approach. Some of you have asked me about the different swing techniques and how they relate to the anchor in your golf swing. Well, let's start with the pendulum technique that we talked about before and show you what we can do to have that pendulum action happen in either a front anchor, a center anchor, or a rear anchor manner. If you remember, the basic pendulum action is getting the sense that the weight shift is moving across the feet back and forth in such a way that this club is swinging in a pendulum manner as my head counterbalances the action. When I demonstrated that time, I was doing it in a very center anchor manner. I set up 50-50, I get the sense of where that pendulum line is established, I shift my weight back and through, keeping my head centered, and you can see I have a nice center anchor pendulum action. If I get set up in a front anchor manner, where I step in with my left foot first, then right, then left, and bump my hips forward, we'll see now that the pendulum is actually left of the center of my stance. From here, all I have to do is get my weight rocking back and forth again as my head stays centered, and I'll have a front anchor pendulum manner. If I was gonna do a right anchor, I'd step in right foot first, then left, I'd tilt my spine back to the right. You can see now, that this line is back of the center of my stance. From here again, if I just keep rocking my weight back and through, keeping my head in a centered position, I'm gonna have a rear anchor pendulum action. Let's see what these look like when we actually play some shots. I'm gonna do the front anchor version first. Now I'll do the rear anchor version. And finally, here's the center anchor version. So as you can see, the key to performing the, the action in an anchored manner is to set up that anchored address position first, and then maintain your head as a counterbalance position, and go ahead and create that pendulum action in whichever anchor position you've set up in. Some final notes on how you should go about setting up your anchor and understanding how that relates to your swing technique. Keep in mind, once you've identified where the best balance point is in your body, whether it's your left hip joint, your right hip joint, your center of gravity, you know, you want to make sure that you set up with that balance point in mind. Additionally, keep in mind that everything happens in a matter of degrees. You can be very right anchor, partly right anchor, you know, right of center. You can be very centered, you can be left of center, or you can be very front anchor. So, Different people have different balance points and you got to figure out which one fits you the best. Once you understand what that balance point is, you want to make sure you get set up with that balance point in mind. From there, you use your head as a counterbalance point and whatever action you perform from that point on is going to you know, stay anchored as long as your head stays counterbalanced and your feet stay you know, in the same basic position they started. So go ahead and find out what your balance point is. Make sure that you set up to accommodate that balance point. And then whether you're using a pendulum action, a swivel action, a wheelhouse action, whatever type of action, make sure you keep your head counterbalancing that action.